This is the Sizzix Stamp and Stencil Tool. It's a really large stamp platform that can also be used with stencils. It's 14 and a quarter inches long and nine and three eighths inches wide. It comes with a large piece of sticky grid that I have attached to the bottom of the stencil and stamp tool. That sticky grid is about the size of an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, and it really helps to hold your paper and your stencils down in place while you're working on them. If you've never used Sticky Grid before, it's kind of like a really large post-it note. So your pieces come off really easily, but they also hold on nice and firmly while you're using them. The grid marks on the Sticky Grid make it really easy to make sure everything is straight and lined up. Once you've put down your cardstock, you can easily position your stamp, close the top of the platform, and that stamp will cling to it, making it really easy to position your pieces and stamp it multiple times in the same spot if you're wanting. You'll notice I took that stamped image off to heat emboss. You don't want to be using heat on this surface, so you do want to be removing things. Because of the sticky grid at the bottom, to use stencils with this stamped image, it was really, really easy to position them. And then there's a border around it that made it easy to hold those stencils in place without needing to tape anything down. This made it really quick and easy to stencil in this image. Because of the large size of this stamp tool, I think it would be really great for larger stamps and larger stencils, or if you like to use your stamps and stencils on scrapbook pages. It definitely works for smaller projects as well. It's just if you only do smaller projects, it's a little bit big for that. But I think for someone that does a mix of different sizes of projects, this is a perfect surface for that. There's also a stencil adapter that can be used with Sizzix stencils in this tool. I don't have any Sizzix stencils, so I'm not using it. I'm just using it just with the sticky grid with my regular stencils holding them down. But that adapter tool has two prongs that holds on to Sizzix stencils for perfect alignment each and every time. One of the things I like to do with my stencils is spray them with a shimmer mist and use some stencil paste. Easy way to do that with this tool is just to get some scrap paper and stick it down while you're misting or using your texture paste. That way you're not gonna get any of that mist on the background of this tool. I found this tool very handy for holding down my cardstock as well as my stencils while creating this project. If you're looking for a stencil and stamp tool, it's a great one to choose.